What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. Make sure you stop over and see us and download our free AdWords Optimization Guide and join our free uh, Facebook group. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in there. Today, I wanted to make this video all about setting up IP exclusions for your AdWords campaigns. All right, so this is not going to be for the normal AdWords user. This is going to be for companies who have um, their own interior da data about IP addresses that they do not want their ads to show for. Um, it, so if, if you're one of those people, this is going to be a great video for you. If not, you could probably just skip over this. But if you have if you have a list of IP addresses that you don't want your ads to show for, then you're in for a treat. So first things first, let's get right to it. It's a quick video. Log into the account that you want to add the IP exclusions. We'll use our Philadelphia Roofing example campaign. Come under the navigation here to settings. Hit additional settings. IP exclusions. And all you're going to do simply is just paste. All right. So if this was our exclusion, if you have your list of them or whatever, you just paste them in here and hit save. That's it. All right. So obviously I'm not going to do that because I'm going to get rid of that. But that's really it. You save and your ads will not show for those IP um, that you have listed. <clears throat> now, if you want more information about this, you can hover over it here. It says you may still get some impressions and clicks from excluded IP addresses. If a Google network site does not provide IP information, there's kind of not really anything you can do about that. Um, keep in mind that this list will apply only to ads in this campaign. All right. So when you're dropping them in here, they're only applying to this campaign. So that's pretty important to understand. And, you know, like like they said, if they're not, if you want to learn more, obviously you can hit this here. But like they said, if, if a Google can't determine if the site is... Um, you know, giving away the IP address and there's nothing they can do. Your ads might show, but it's, I'm sure you'll be fine. Again, this is more high-level stuff, so I haven't really seen too many people mess around with it besides a handful of big companies that we work with. But um, it's a pretty cool tactic. So you can do this for your comp Like a lot of people usually do it for their competition. They'll have their competition's IP addresses and stuff, so they just want to ban those so they can't click on ads and stuff like that. So that's how you would do it. All right, so if you have any questions about excluding IP addresses, drop them below in the comments section. I'll jump in and help the best I can. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this, give me a thumbs up, share if you can, really appreciate that. Check out the links in the description. I put some, uh, some cool stuff in there for you guys, including a link to our Facebook group and our free AdWords optimization guide.